What's going on guys? Back up here at Grafton Archery. My name is Caleb Strackengast. This is Buffalo Creek Outdoors. Today's video is gonna be a pretty straightforward one. Uh, I wanna talk about the grip options uh, that they have available for the new Matthews. This is the Lift 29 and a half. This is my personal bow. Uh, I wanna talk about the grip options that are out there or some of the more popular grip options that are out there and the grip that I think I'm gonna stay with for the remainder of the year. Let's jump on into it. All right, guys, so starting out, the new Matthews and the Matthew, I don't even, I'd, I'd be lying if I could tell you how many years they've had the engaged grip, um, but the 29 and a half inch lift that I have came with the engaged grip. All the Matthews come with the engaged grips, or all the hunting bows come with their engaged grips. And it's kind of love hate. Um, some guys love them, some guys hate them. My, personal opinion is I have tried to shoot the engaged grip. I've tried to like it. I just don't shoot it well. Personally, I just put this too much variance. It's too round on the back end. I don't, I like the way it feels. It's not too fat. It feels like a really good grip. When I get out there and I start trying to shoot groups with it, from day to day, I'm just not consistent on this grip. And throughout the shop, that's pretty much the case. Um, and I'll get into what the other guys are shooting uh, as we go on, but uh, there's a couple options that we carry here in the shop. There are some more options out there in the hunting space or hunting community. Uh, there's quite a few more options. I just wanna talk about a few of the options that we carry here at the shop and what we've all kind of like narrowed it down to that we really like. So. The engage grip is what comes, what it comes with. I took a, a belt sander and a Dremel and I actually flattened my engage grip out and I tried to shoot that and I shot slightly better shooting it that way. I shot tack with the grip um, flattened out like this just because I didn't quite have the time to dial in a new grip system um, prior to going. So I did shoot tack that way and I definitely noticed um, torque on a few shots. You get a, a squirrely arrow here and there. Um, but I did take and flatten that out and I did shoot that slightly better. I've seen some other guys that have done the same thing. That is an option. You can slightly uh, dremel or sand your engage grip down and try that. Let's get those out of the way. The next option that's very, very popular uh, and something that we carry here at the shop is the Matthews side plates. Um, these have been a very popular option here uh, for the guys that like the feeling of shooting off the shelf. Right now, I'm currently shooting my bow off the shelf, but because of the way the aluminum riser is designed, it doesn't feel that great on your thumb and the side of your hand. You can definitely feel the ridge of the raised aluminum around um, where the grips go. The side plates essentially just fill out the rest of the shelf and um, make it a smooth surface to the uh, hard edges of the riser. That's pretty much all they do. Uh, one thing that I see a lot of guys do that shoot the side plates is they'll shoot uh, the side plates and take some sandpaper, or not sandpaper, but some anti-skid or non-skid and put on the back side of their riser. That may be something that I do um, later on. Right now, I'm just gonna shoot directly off the riser and see how that does. Um, that's what I'm gonna shoot. Another option and what um, Colin and Joe Darnell that own the shop, what both of them are shooting now is the UV. Uh, this is the B-Reel 2.0 Matthews grip. That is what they're currently shooting on their setups. They really like it. Colin tried side plates. Uh, and didn't care for him as much, said he still couldn't get a consistent grip. Nathan that works up here, he is also shooting the side plates and really likes the side plates on his lift. Uh, so it's kind of hit or miss guys, but everybody that works here or deals or 
all four of us, I should say, either shoot the side plates or shoot the, the B-Real 2.0 grip. None of us really like the engaged grips. Um, plenty of the customers that come up here enjoy the engaged grips. It's just not been our preference. Uh, there are quite a few other options out there for grips, shooting directly off the riser, putting some um, high, high hockey tape or some uh, tennis grip tape on uh, your riser. That's another option. Uh, of course, you've got the Bomar uh, grip tape. They have that out there. Uh, there's a plenty of different options. These are just the major options that we carry here at the shop and what we've all kind of settled on. So I'm going to go ahead and install the side plates on my bow and uh, kind of round out the video. So out of the box, you're going to have, and I guess I should have said what these things cost. These things cost about 50 bucks, uh, which yeah, it's kind of expensive for a couple pieces of plastic, but it is what it is. It's kind of one of those things where you're going to pay for what you get, I guess. There are other options out there that are cheaper, um, but these are what we carry here at the shop. Uh, in the box, it comes with a little alcohol wipe. I'm going to go ahead and wipe that all down, make sure I don't have any of the excess like hand oil and stuff like that on here. Go ahead and wipe it all down. As you can see, like this shelf shooting just directly off the sh or off the riser, it's not very comfortable. Some bows are, are very comfortable shooting them off the riser. I've shot my Hoyts off the riser um, quite a bit and never had any issue. Maybe put a little bit of tape on them or whatever, but this Matthews has not been very comfortable. But as far as getting a good grip, I've been able to get a very, very good, very, very consistent grip um, shooting directly off the riser. So these side plates should be awesome. Another thing that it comes with, it's gonna come with two 3M branded um, tapes, one for each side. It's self-explanatory which side is which, um, but it comes with those. And then it's gonna come with your side plates themselves. They're just kinda stuck to this little container. And one thing you'll notice with these side plates is they actually have a, um, like a uh, extrusion spot on each side and they line up with holes that are already in your riser. Uh, and those holes, if I'm not mistaken, are for um, different mounting options for grips and for the uh, actually putting in their um, shot sense grip. But these things just line up with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean off the uh, sticky that had them stuck to the container box. Make sure you know what side or what handed you are. Make sure you know if you're right or left handed and which bow you are shooting, whether you're shooting a right or left handed bow because it does matter. These things do not fit both right and left handed bows. These are the right handed bow set and they just pop right on there just like so. And like I said, this it's self-explanatory which side goes to which because they're shaped just like each side. Both sides have their own individual shape. Make sure your alcohol has clean is uh, dry on your riser. Take your sticky and go ahead and stick it to the riser of the bow, not to the grip itself. And try your best not to touch it too much. And it should look something similar to that. I'm gonna go ahead and put my other side on. I'm 
like so. Now let's see if I can get this side off without having to take my quiver, my arrows out of my quiver. There we go. Got it off. And then you just place your side plates in the right position. Just like so. Do the same thing on the back side. It really can't go in but one way. Just like everything else Matthews, everything's really precise. So these cover, these side plates literally pop in exactly where it's supposed to go. So you really can't screw it up. And that, my friends, is what you should be looking at on your correctly installed Matthews side plates. There are definitely more options out there on the market um, for grips for your Matthews. This is just what we choose or what they choose to carry here at the shop or one of the options they choose to carry here at the shop. Uh, pretty much the B-Real grip has been honestly the more, the more popular grip. A lot of guys tend to shoot that grip. I think I would as well other than the fact that the thickness of that grip would cause me to have to change my module to a 27 and a half. My bow is already tuned and shooting really, really well at 27. And with the grip off and shooting off the riser, it fits me perfectly. Uh, I really don't want to change all that. That's the only reason why I'm not giving that one a shot. And I really like the, the feel of shooting off the, the riser itself. So that's why I chose the side plates over the B-Real grip. But overall, I can say the Engage grip has not been the more popular grip of choice in this area. That, like I said, that's a small, uh, when, that's a small test bed, you know what I mean? Like, I can only speak to what I see here. Uh, another thing that I can speak to is what I saw in Montana at TAC. There were not that many people that I saw that were still shooting the engaged grip. Now there were other options of that other than what I just showed you, but uh, there weren't that many people still shooting the, the standard engaged grips on these bows. So take that for what it's worth. Uh, you may love the engaged grip and that's great. I just want you to know there's other options out there and kind of see uh, what's popular here. Thanks for watching guys. Remember to live your life to the fullest and use your passions to bless others. Call these guys up here at Grafton Archery at 704-855-1300 if you're interested in one of these grips. Get you one on order or come up here and pick you one up. So appreciate it guys. We'll catch you on the next video.